Brazil. Although Salvador remains a rich cultural center with its macumba, its capoeira, and its exuberant carnival, Brazil's history moved on in the late 1700s as the demand for sugar began to decline and groups of explorers known as banderantes or banner bearers left the coast to explore the interior. These explorations paid off handsomely when gold was discovered in the present-day state of Minas Gerais. And so began Brazil's next big boom. The tons of gold which came from Brazil during the gold boom produced enough wealth to finance the Industrial Revolution in Europe. The original capital of Minas Gerais was the Baroque city of Oro Preto, built in the 1800s. Oro Preto's unique beauty inspired UNESCO to declare it a world historical monument. As a consequence, the city still retains the grace and elegance of its old world heritage. The wealth of gold brought cultural gifts as well. Minas Gerais produced one of the Baroque period's most astonishing artists. These statues were carved by the sculptor Alejo Gino, known as the Little Cripple. Despite being handicapped by leprosy which deformed his hands, Alejo Gino created these works of art by strapping carving tools onto his arms. The Twelve Apostles, which stand in front of the church of Bon Jesus, are thought to covertly represent the leaders of the Brazilian independence movement. The figures in his Stations of the Cross are also thought to be veiled caricatures of political figures of the era. Although the gold boom eventually faded, and with it Oro Preto's short-lived distinction of being the richest city in the world, the economic importance of the state of Minas Gerais remains. The region is a geologist's utopia, with mineral wealth of less obvious but no less important value. <laughs> Toto recombo no congado Cantar de novo trovador A mera embora a luz da lua Toda a canção do seu amor Não quero ver Essa dona caminhando Pelos salões arrastando